Welcome back everybody, today we will be discussing the Jordan 1 Mocha once again. Specifically, we're going to be discussing exactly where and when the Jordan 1 Mocha is going to be restocking. In fact, some retailers actually have delayed shipments for these, especially on grade school pairs, hence grade school prices are slightly inflated right now. To preface this restock guide a little bit, for those of you who did not cop yet, don't beat your don't beat yourself up too much. This has got to be one of the worst drops for manual users in quite a while. Initially, it was even one of the worst drops for botting too, considering the foot sight drop was so poorly executed that they actually had to redrop them after 12 p.m. Eastern time. So don't be too hard on yourself if you didn't cop. Instead, let's prepare for the restocks and keep it moving. As for those of you who did cop on the other hand, be sure to watch my video regarding whether you should sell or hold these. The men's pairs are playing out exactly as expected but as I mentioned the grade school pairs are a tad inflated right now due to the unexpected delayed in shipments this will be beneficial for those of you quick selling these so I just wanted to keep you guys updated in terms of that now if there are any other updates I will let you know of course so be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications just so you're always 100% updated on all hype sneaker releases including these also for any urgent info or site lists like for the mochas be sure to follow my Twitter Keith Adam 10 as well as personals for you so you never miss anything and you're always updated let me know how you performed on this drop in the comments down below now let's kick it off with where the most pairs will be restocking by a significant amount this has been the case for years and i expect it to follow the same exact pattern for the jordan 1 mochas as well foot sites this includes foot locker foot action champs east bay and kids Foot Locker for both the men and grade school pairs it is almost a guarantee that these sites will restock soon based off of all prior hyped releases however there are two potential different ways that they could go about these restocks so firstly the most common way is completely random times normally in the ranges of 9 to 11 p.m eastern time and 7 to 11 a.m eastern time within a few days of the drop this is normally the case and it's essentially completely random in the those time ranges however there is another possibility as well we specifically have not seen this form of a restock since the Jordan 1 Royal Toe restock they normally only do these for a very very hyped Jordan 1 specifically hence we saw it on the Royal Toe Jordan 1 this other restock method that I'm referring to is a pre-announced restock method where it's actually not random completely but rather the Twitters of these foot stores will actually tweet out the day prior or the day of that they will be restocking on X day or they might say we are restocking later this afternoon today etc they never provide an exact time for this when they do announce the restocks the day before or the day of however it is normally almost always 3 p.m. Eastern time or 4 p.m. Eastern time in these rare cases if they end up announcing it the drop will more than likely be dominated by bots unfortunately but of course it's certainly still worth giving your best effort on the other hand if they don't announce it which is what they normally Normally do just random restocks essentially then manual actually has a pretty solid chance assuming you get on fast enough since there will be significantly less bots with tasks running regardless of it being random or announced I would suggest following personals for you on Twitter as soon as we do see that it does go live and a good amount of sizes do restock we will tweet out the link as per usual for you guys throughout the next week or two or even more myself and staff will be watching my monitor as well as bot checkout logs very closely this, uh, this isn't the most fun thing to do, so feel free to leave a like on the video. Moving on, let's discuss Finish Line and JD Sports. Finish Line and JD used to be incredible for restocks. They used to almost always restock at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on the day or second day after the drop. Sadly, they recently introduced a new program on the app which gives exclusive access to people who have a certain amount of points to purchase. In other words, a pay to win system for restocks. However, this also isn't always the case, so it would be worth checking the prior links for these at 10 a.m. Eastern Time over the next few days just to be safe because they have recently done some decent restocks such as the Toro Jordan 14s. If you need help finding the direct links because they won't change they normally always stay exactly the same just like foot sites for these to check at 10 a.m. Eastern time over the next few days just head over to personals for you on Twitter and it should be the second and third links I believe so again it's definitely worth checking to be safe on these and careful not to refresh too much within a short period of time when it comes to finish line and JD sports because they do IP ban pretty heavily. These sites are very, very sensitive to requests. Those sites will all be your best chance at 
restocks manually. However, I do also expect some Shopify sites to restock. Primarily Shop Nice Kicks and Shoe Palace due to the high stock and prior patterns of significant restocks. We should definitely expect some decent restocks here, but unless you have a bot or a Shopify monitor, it will sadly be very difficult to cop off of here. Regardless, we'll still try our best on personals for you to send out the links as soon as possible. As always, it's worth a shot and can't hurt to try. Now, more importantly, in terms of Shopify sites, DTLR has actually delayed shipments for both men and grade school pairs. They didn't drop at all today. This is very notable because although it is a Shopify site and will be a rather tough manual compared to some others, they do get a very good amount of stock, making manual very possible, even though it is somewhat difficult. I would highly suggest following them on Instagram and Twitter for when they do post release details on these ones. Of course, they do receive the shipments, and as usual, we will tweet out the link when it does go live. Now, those are your best chances and the most likely restock that should definitely be happening. Now, aside from online drops, you should also expect foot stores to do leftovers from the reservations, especially for grade school pairs since a ton of these reservations got really messed up due to the delayed shipments of grade school pairs. Regarding the exact time, this would be relative to your local foot stores, so I would advise you guys to call your local Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs, and Kids Foot Locker every other morning or night before closing hours and simply asking them when they are planning to do leftovers. When they do give you a day, I would suggest getting some friends or family members to come with you because it will be limited to one per person for both men and grade school. So this means if you were to hypothetically go in and try to get leftovers, you could only get one men's pair and one grade school pair. So highly suggest that you try to bring some friends and family members along with you. Even if they don't resell, you could give them a couple of bucks or buy them lunch for the ride because obviously they, they likely won't know exactly how much these are going for unless they're familiar with reselling where in that case they're probably already calling Foot Locker themselves. So as you guys can see it's not over yet. I have always loved the saying it ain't over until the fat lady sings and it's quite evident here there are still plenty of opportunities left and sadly we can't always get what we want. It's human nature to act like little after we don't but I commend you guys to do the contrary by keeping your head up and trying your best on these restocks if you can't cop the restocks there will definitely be more opportunities be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications to stay 100% updated on all hype sneakers and of course follow my Twitter Keith Adam 10 and personals for you just so you're updated on the urgent restocks when we do put out the links etc and for those of you who do need reliable fast residential proxies for these restocks or any drops in general I just recently restocked all all of Kip Proxy's plans, so feel free to check the links in the description below. And also, finally, remember that the limited endurance restock will take place tomorrow on Sunday, November 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and 9 p.m. CET in Europe. With that, I'll see you guys later. Good luck on these restocks and any future drops, of course.